Hi, Lovey. How are you? I'm doing great, Mariah. And I took my Geritol this morning and I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> I promise I'm not going to comment on your age today, okay? <laughs> Mariah, you know, how, you know how much you called me, Mariah, by those comments yesterday. I've had to answer quite a bit. <laughs> are you okay? Or do I have a wheelchair at, at, at practice for you? <laughs> no. So now I spent uh, most of my day doing push ups out there, letting the guys see that I'm okay. You have to prove it to them. <laughs> well, okay, so I'm wondering, so you've seen the Big Ten player demands. Yesterday, um, you made a point to comment that, you know, players have a say in what you do, what they do always. So how do you make sure that players are aware that there's an open line of communication between them and you? All right, that, that started four years ago when I first got here. I think if you have to all of a sudden start calling a whole lot of meetings right now, guys, my door is open right now. If you're doing that right now, there's an issue that you have that's a lot deeper than just this. So that's how we do it around here. I think our guys will tell you that. Uh, I'm approachable. My door is open. Uh, I try to stay up as much as I possibly can on things that really matter that first affect our program and, of course, our players and and that's the case. Um, as I said, I've said before, I'm in favor of the players getting everything that they deserve, all of us. Uh, football has helped so many people, coaches, administrators, players and all. And uh, I think there's a happy, there's a fine line and there's a happy medium where we can all be happy. And I think that's the case with our players. And, uh, and I'll just say that we talk completely, uh, you know, as often, quite often, and I, and I know that the guys feel okay with what we're doing around here. Do you think that during these times, it's more important to have um, a certain level of communication than it was in years past? Or like you said, since you've started coaching, it's just always been something that you have put a lot of value in. I think every year there's something uh, pressing that you have to focus on a little bit. It's bigger than football, what we're dealing, dealing with, with COVID-19, uh, with uh, you know, just the social issues that we have. They're more prevalent to a lot of people who are noticing these things. COVID-19 is different. That is just something that happened this year. The other things that we're dealing with and we're talking about, they've been there forever. And I'm saying in our program, we've tried to address those uh, other issues, not just right now. So for me to, to change, for us to have to change up and start doing a whole lot of things differently, we don't have to do that. We've been doing that all along. Great. Thank you. Thank you.